Welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Security Onion. We'll start with our ticket. You have a new client as a security uh, consultant. A new client is TPI, Trevor Phillips Industries. And Trevor Phillips Industries is into import and exports. They need you to install a network security system for PCI compliance. That security system is contained in IDS and IPS. So you need to test and deploy a cost-effective IDS and IPS system that can also keep logs. So you decide to try Security Onion to see what you can do because you have heard that you can create wonderful dashboards and also use the systems to track uh, network intrusion and also events. And you realize that these are the requirements. Four CPUs, eight gigs of RAM, a hypervisor, and in this case we'll be using VMware SXI. You can use VirtualBox or any other hypervisors. And if you're using VMware, you need to mirror a, v, a, a v switch and also create a port group that's in promiscuous mode. You can view uh, my previous video where I show you how to mirror a vSwitch and a port group. So now that we know what our ticket is, we have TPI Industries is our client and he needs us to do this. Let's get into the video and I will show you guys how to install your first Security Onion VM in VMware. To start installation of uh, Security Onion, we need to, to download the ISO and we can download it from their GitHub location. I'll send this link in the uh, comment section of this uh, video and also in the description video. So this is a GitHub location. Just download this ISO. Once the download is done, what you want to do is go to your VMware ESXi or uh, vCenter or VMware Workstation or Fusion. You want to import that VA, that uh, ISO into your data store. Once my ISO is imported, as you can see, mine is in the main folder. The next thing you need to do is close your data store, go back to the host, or just go to virtual machines, create or register a virtual machine, new virtual machine, next name security onion i'll just leave compatibility case os family it's linux case os version ubuntu 67 64 Then next, choose the data store that you want to install. Then next, the number of CPUs, I'm just going to give it four CPUs. For RAM, I'm going to give it uh, eight gigs of RAM. And on the hard drive, I'll just give it a hundred. You want to make sure that you have two network adapters, one for management and the other one for mirroring traffic. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add a network adapter. As you can see here, and the first network adapter, I'm going to just create it to my VM network. That's what I'm used for management. And the second network adapter, I'm going to assign to mirror group, which is what I use for uh, mirroring traffic. Then um, under CD, I want to attach my ISO, which I saved in my uh, main 
directory. And then hit select. Once everything is there, just say next. Review your settings. You have four gigs, eight, uh, four CPUs, eight gigs, and everything looks good. And hit finish. That will create the virtual machine. Once it's done, I'll just go ahead and power the virtual machine machine on. Power on. And I would like to open the console. Right here, you just choose Boot Security Onion, which is the default one. Security Onion would boot in. Then you come to your login screen, which quickly goes away. Once the installation is complete, you will automatically be logged in Security Onion. And from here, We'll just go ahead and configure security onion that will be our instructions in the next video